Hello and welcome back to some SRX Racing. This time we're trying it on an intermediate. We are here at Chicago Land for a hosted event here, an 80 lap race, hosted by Nick Neiman, just like uh, the time before. And uh, I'm really excited to see how this car drives out here. Um, obviously this car not really made for intermediate tracks, but it has some good horsepower. I think it's got something like 700 horsepower, so we can get going around this place pretty quick. I think we're almost reaching about 190, so it's plenty fast, but uh, it also hates turning around these corners, which could be good, could be bad, depending on how you look at it. It plows pretty bad, but that just means you have to lift off and you have to be careful. Probably going to have to really protect the right front during this event. And uh, we'll see how the racing ends up looking as a result. First of all, though, we're going to try to get a good starting spot. I kind of like the high line. See how it goes here. Getting the feel of the track right now. Not exactly sure. I wasn't exactly sure what it was going to feel like once we got out here. Pushes a lot, so you I've been stabbing the brakes just a little bit. I got my brakes all the way back to, you know, super far back. <laughs> it's in the 30s. Which is pretty interesting. Very, very far back, but I think it helps having as much turn in as possible. Fastest lap for Porsche, 31.5. And the second lap should be better, I think, although we didn't get quite as good of a runoff. 501, almost in the fours, that's cool. That'll put us P2 for now. Bryce up there on pole, he's killing it. He's been fast in practice and here showing up in a qualifying as well with an excellent run. I'm very happy getting in a low five because uh, it required some draft to get near the fours before, so to be able to get that close is pretty cool. I think we should have a good start from there. Feeling like maybe I should have used a little bit more break, maybe use this seam. I don't know if being all the way up by the wall is really necessary, though it's hard to tell. Basically going in here blind with this card in intermediate. I have not seen anybody drive it on a large track, and uh, I've not done it myself, so. During the race, definitely going to be taking the lower line, and I'm going to be very patient on throttle. Probably get it real up down low near that white line to try to get it to turn, because I think getting this thing rotated is going to be the biggest challenge of the race. Probably going to angle it down here, brake pretty good. Do something like this. I feel the wheel binding up a little bit less when I try to do it that way. And uh, I might avoid cutting the apron during the race as well. That's something that usually can get you a lot of time here at Chicagoland, but because the car's so tight, it feels like I'm on the right front even just doing that. So I think I might avoid the trying to uh, cut the apron. The raft seems to be pretty big. Yeah, Zach uh, saying that cars drive tight. Yes, they do. I have to wonder if, when they get into a pack as well, if it's going to be even more tight. Kind of doing some laps right now, how I expect to during the race. I don't think uh, we'll have to... Well, we got 62 laps estimated fuel and it's an 80 lap race. Are we going to have to do some pit stops? Interesting. Cat is going crazy with a cat toy. Alright, we'll park it, see uh, what the field's looking like. Looks like Kenny, who has returned for this one, is going to be starting in the back, unless uh, he just hasn't qualified yet. 
who has decided to start the back, it looks like. Alright, should be interesting. Got Nick's brother in here again, starting right behind us. Shane. Lots of names we know, of course. Nick's dad's here this time. Good to see him. And Nick down there in 20th with a uh, .762 for his Q time. This will be interesting. This will be very interesting. Nothing too serious. We're going to try our best, of course, to race clean and race well. But pretty much a test session here. Jasper the cat, can you please play with that later? Yep. Hopefully that's not coming across loudly in the, uh, the new look. It should be interesting video. One last lap. I'm just going to double check, make sure everything's recording right, because I had some recent recording issues. I don't know if I mentioned it at all, but I lost two really great races because of um, microphone issues. It wasn't even necessarily the microphone, but rather the... Um, Cat is running under my chair with his toy. Go play with that over here. <laughs> um, it was uh, the program I used to uh, eliminate some background noise. Luck, it crashed, but didn't crash. In the way that it, uh, <laughs> it looked like it was still up and working, but it stopped doing the audio, which was not great. So I'm really interested looking at the fuel here. Are we going to be able to make it on fuel if we save enough? I don't know if I necessarily want to drive around just saving fuel the whole time to win a pointless race. I think I'm probably just going to have fun and take a pit stop. There are two additional sets I feel like going try hard and just trying to save a bunch of fuel to make it to the end would kind of defeat the purpose of what we're trying to do here. But with how much off-throttle time we have, 10 laps short, it might be possible to make it to the end. And if someone is able to do that... Credit to them. Let the paid car buy. What gear are we going to start in? That's my next question. Let me make sure my bias is back. It is... Alright. Looks like a first gear start to me. Bryce will lead us off in the 456 car. <laughs> Does that show in his car? Anywhere, I can't see really that well, but he's the number 456. He's kind of got a purplish, blue, bluish kind of car as well. It's kind of like an indigo color. I've got my grape colors as usual. The car's kind of wiggly at lower speeds, almost like a dirt car, which I guess this is kind of half a dirt car. But that might just be because I'm nervous. I'm shaking. Huh. Get ready, going green. Let's try to get a good jump. Okay, the pace car is in. Green flag. Green flag. Pit road is now open. I hope I did not get a black flag for that. I waited on them a whole lot. You're up top, three wide. Inside, two wide. Still there, inside. You're up top, three wide. Don't want to be three wide. Still there, still there. It was a very still slow down, start. Two started wide first. I was in the second. Yeah, still there. Still there at the bottom. Like to get single file here and be able to run the still line there, on run. Yeah, it's all about going pretty wide there. I just Keep ended high. up in the middle. Still there. Clear us in front. I would really like to get to that bottom. Up the track there, uh, Chris. No worries there, Mark. You're all good. Still there at the bottom. It's going to definitely if you uh, get tight. They want to shoot you up. Outside. Keep it low. That's more of what I want to be doing here. He'll get a run off, but I'm trying to protect the right front right now. 
still there. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of good turn down there. Still there, hold your line. The guy behind has just done a 31.8. Clear outside if you want it. Outside. Okay, Colton. Fuel window opens on lap 7. Go low. It should close on lap 63. Outside is clear. No clear us. P2. Apron. Car outside, clear outside if you want it. The yellow flag is out. Line up Rapping single file. file. Closed, pit road out. is closed. Up single file. <laughs> <We're not laughs> <going> <laughs> number somebody six. ever, We're somehow everybody missed me. Five. Car. Checking up for base car in turn one. Yeah, that, yeah, that was scary. Oh, what happened there? Did I get you? Or did you slide up into me? I tapped the apron and the car did not like that, I'm sorry. FYI on the restart, I guess some people didn't know, it really does seem advantageous to use first gear. Yeah, sorry for that initial checkup, I had no idea the second one was going to be that off. I didn't either, but I played around with it on a... I think we got to come in and get new tires. We approach. slid a whole and lot. Green lap happened and I immediately almost took out Chris. So that was my mistake. I, I caused the first caution, Watch which sucks. Speed. Limit is yeah, I didn't mean to go three wide middle from that start, but... We when there was a checkup, he went down, I ended up in the middle, so I just went. <laughs> Pit box team, 10. Five, three, two, one. Yeah, Got I started here. in first. I was just trying to avoid the stack up. Yeah, we slid the tires pretty bad, so I'm glad I'm taking the tires here. Still can't quite make it to the end, I don't think. Not great for me. That sucks. Move it, move it. You only have one tire Surprised how badly the car reacted to that. I guess I shouldn't be, but like I tapped it and it was uh, not having it. Basically lost all control. Had to catch it and then it ended up putting me in the second lane and then uh, that's right where Shane was. Warren, we always seem to find each other in next races. Yeah, hopefully we don't make it. where I slid 30,000 miles. Oh, I have zero experience in this one. So we'll be patient here. Man, that really stinks. I was just trying to run that bottom line and be better for the long run, but made a mistake a little embarrassing but we'll uh, survive it uh, Colton I'm right in front of you and I have no speed here so I'm gonna stay low if you want to go around go around high All right, no worries. I'm going to be patient. I don't need to be causing any more trouble. Get ready. Going green. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green, green, green. green, green. green. Car outside. Right behind him, that's all right. Like I said, we're looking to be patient. Clear up top. Really lifted off. Oh, maybe he's seeing something ahead. It's got him a little, little uh, worried. Inside. 
Okay. Still there at the bottom. Make our way around. We got a long race, so definitely don't need to be uh, worrying too much about my speed. Clearly, I just need to get better and not hit aprons. So that's what I'm going to worry about right now. We're probably the only ones that have tires on it already. What that's worth. Could put us in an advantage as the run goes on. The car ahead has just done a 32.0. Managed not to hit the apron again, that's good. Pretty going low, it looks like. The car inside. Got some cap and crunch in front of us, that's fun. Stay high, the car on the roadside. Clear inside. The car outside. Still there, hold your line. Still off the wall. Go low. Clear out. Not hit the apron again, that would be great. You've just done a 32.2. Hopefully what I'm doing is working for the, um, the right front. I'm really trying to back it down. That left was a 32.1. Uh-oh, they're wrecking, they're wrecking. The yellow flag is out. Line up, single file. The right. road is closed. Low car up high. Thankfully we make it through oh, that. This will spawn. Line up, single file, behind car number 15. Pace yeah, I'm loving it. It's closed. I'm not sure if it's supposed to feel this stable, but it's crazy how stable they feel when you're that close to other cars. We should make it on fuel, yeah, actually. This is just how hard I can push it. I'm waiting for that snap, and it's not coming. Exactly. It's like I can like lean against the guy in a sense and not fear that. It's, gonna it's like AJ was down. maybe involved like in that. that. That's <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> Off at that point, but yeah, it's crazy. Now open. Pace are entering three. Well, we have enough fuel, so we're not going to be pitting here. And we just took tires, and we need to save another set, so... Can't pit right now. We might get the whole field pitting behind us, though. Or in front of us. Oh, like uh, Jimmy, you had some net code. I went back and looked at it. There was still, there's still a lot of space between me and you. I wonder if these cars have some net code issues because of uh, 
You're on the outside this time. We rode you closed. Get the 58 car. Interesting that he shortened the caution whenever he's going into the pits. <laughs> I guess they expect to be ready in time. Maybe he didn't realize that we were already two to green. I don't know. So we'll get a couple spots back here. A lot of guys in front of us have not pitted all yet. I'm very lucky no one uh, hit me when I was sideways in the slide earlier. Everyone did a really good job of avoiding. Wish they didn't have to avoid me. Sliding. Hang on. We're not going green. Yeah, that's what We're I figured. We'd try to get green. another Hang on. We're lap. Not going I don't think green. we meant to We're shorten it that much. Green. So there's still plenty of time for us to move forward. We've got enough fuel for the end of the race. We're saving a whole lot more fuel than I expected. Race car's coming in this lap. Still haven't really got a, a real long run yet, so hard to know if uh, our approach to tire saving is working. I do want to get real close to the bottom line because there's a lot of turn there, but that's what caused me to make a mistake before, so I think I gotta give myself a little bit more room for error until I get used to how this car drives on the intermediates and I can uh, be more precise. I think that was my mistake. I was trying to cut it too close without knowing how this car reacts in these situations well enough yet. Get ready, going green. Alright, we'll be starting 16th here on this restart. The pace car is in. Green, green flag. flag, green flag. Inside. B15. Still there, inside. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Okay. Clear, I think. Ooh, a little bit of apron up ahead. That looked a little bit too much what, like what I did. Thankfully he's able to hold it together. That scared me. Car up there blinking. This has been very fun so far though. I'm kicking myself for my mistake, but it is fun to drive. It's pretty unique. think anything drives quite like this. You can compare it to the 87 mid-corner and the fact that it, it does like to plow a little bit, but it really does feel much different. Like it feels more stable and grooved to the track Still there. compared to the 87. Still there. But uh, I mean it's not though because it's it doesn't have crazy amounts of downforce. I guess it's just, it doesn't feel glued to the track, but more just stable, I guess, is the better way to put it. Probably that big spoiler it has on it. Probably helping it feel that way. Was 
Penny directly in front of us. He looks like he's probably just biding his time. You know, he's very likely to find his uh, way forward before the end of this thing. Oh, someone in the wall up there, are they losing it? Didn't look good for a second. They did catch it though. That's alright, I had a run. Probably should be saving this and I'm good. Okay, Halter, that's good consistency, keep it up. Uh oh, someone else in the wall. Car outside, right side, too wide. That was pretty aggressive, outside. but what I felt like needed to there. That was right. a weird moment. I almost felt like it tried to snap mid corner. That was a new feeling, and I don't know how much I enjoyed it. Still there inside. Interesting. It is changing the way it's handling. Got some close quarters up there. I think guys are getting tight and getting near the outside wall, and it's causing some uh, close moments potentially. Car outside. Still there. Still there. Still there. Still there, hold your line. Kind of stuck right now, got behind some too wide, but I'm not in a hurry anyway. Keep low. You think these cards could bump draft? <laughs> I'm not going to be the one that finds out. Stay low. There is a car on the high Damn side. Brady. You got me down there. I'm not going to use the apron even though we got to run here. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. Right, I'm going to try to top for us. Still there. Hold your line. Now you're good, but I've been outside if you want to. Outside. Stay low. I don't want to take him three wide, that's not what I want to do, but we are stuck pretty bad right now. It's on the apron. Scaring me a little bit. <laughs> we have to pass on the outside. comes up and hits us a little bit. Still there. Stay high. Yikes. Okay, Colton. The next car is Moffat. Clear inside. B12. The car outside. Stay low. Alright, he's kind of far off the wall. Still there. 
Stay low. Still there. Outside, clear. Too close to clear right now, so I'm not going to do it. He has a bad push, it looks like. Loses all his momentum out there. Don't get uh, front end damage for yourselves, guys. You, it really slows down your draft, your ability to draft. Yeah, fresh tires are Kenny? No. Oh, damn, you're making it work good. Not quite to halfway yet, but we are getting close. Car inside, clear. Car inside. Clear. Okay, easing off. Just gotta find our way through. I think our tire saving is working pretty well right now. Nowhere to go there. Car outside. Keep low. Still there, hold your line. Still there. Caution, yellow flag. We got a caution. Single file. Pit road is closed. What are our fast times looking like? Let's see. Last lap was about 32.8. Sorry if I came down into you, man. I'm having a hard time telling where my left front is. A second off. Pace car is out. Line up single file okay. behind car number 54. We're under caution. Pits I gotta save a set of tires, I think. Ah, uh, that stinks. Really would have liked that to go green a little longer. So we're not even halfway. I had to take that set early because of my slide. Pit road is now open. Pits are open. Not sure what I have to do here. I think just about everybody around us is going to go in. Maybe Nick Martin stays out? It looks like he plans to. Yeah, I gotta save a set, man. It's pitting. My hope is we won't be that far off pace because it almost felt like the car was getting looser there as time was going on. So I'm hoping we should be in okay shape. Will we get any wheel spin in this car? Doesn't feel like it. At least we're not the only one. Our tires should be newer than those guys. Oh damn, I was killing my tires apparently. And I got like 91s, 91s. Sounds pretty great, so... 79, 88. Hopefully our tires aren't too bad. Okay, that makes you feel better. <laughs> Full course yellow, pits are open. I guess yeah. up front we are pushing a bit harder. Yeah, we're pushing pushing pretty hard there. Yeah, you're we doing good though. We're looking to the very end there that yeah, Kenny catch not so close by the tires. Hope I don't make another dumb mistake being put in a tough spot like this. Closed. Yeah. Pit road is closed. Kenny's in a different spot. That was, that was pretty crazy. Get ready. Race on resume at the end of this lap.
Got to start P2 again, unfortunately. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I'm afraid of it too. Yeah, me too, Dante. I've touched the car in front of me like twice, but went right back off. It's crazy how saving a star is. It really rolls in when it makes an aggressive moves. Alright, getting ready to go here. Hopefully we don't just get completely swamped. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green, 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 green. Let's go. you're back in seconds. Keep roads open, the next car's the leader. Right, we got able to launch pretty well. Yellow flag is out. Another yellow. Interesting. And it must have been some sort of disaster back there. Guess maybe I'm glad I wasn't back there then. Was it a large one? Are we going to be able to tell? Can't really tell, I don't know. See Alan, unfortunately. Involved somehow, it looks like. Okay, We're able to fire off just fine, it looks like, so that's good news. As much as it might help my position I'm in right now, if we get a bunch of cautions, I hope it goes green. So we can have some racing, despite what I need in this race. I wonder if he'll make it one to green. Looks like just two to green, that's fine as well. We'll just hopefully uh, get another good launch again. Just do it one more time. Oh, Kenny just lost connection. RIP. That sucks. Yeah, that sucks for him. He was definitely going to probably get up there and get it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. He was in a great spot. I think he might have taken two tires that last stop, too. Potentially. Looked like he gained a bunch of track position. But I know he was making his way forward anyway. Yeah, these cars are fragile, it seems like. Bryce talking about he taps the wall and gets 35 seconds of optional. One to go, next time by. You're on the outside this time. And he's back. I wonder if uh, Nick will be able to put him back on the lead lap potentially. I think the guys are right behind us on fresh tires, so they're probably going to be going around us real quick. 
think we might be able to hold on through the first two corners potentially, but once we get to three and four, I bet they've got a ton more speed. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. Pit road's open. Is that going to go to the inside, I bet? No, he's not quite there, so that's fine. Outside. Stay low. This there car might be better on older side. tires. <laughs> that corner felt pretty good. Okay, you are the leader. Stay low. There's a car on the high side. Clear outside if you want it. Slide up in front. I'm sorry, Sean. The car inside. I tried to stay out here, but you hit that wall. I got it. all. Fastest lap for Q Cot, the 2.6. Looks like our uh, our partner in crime there is losing some spots now. Tire uh, disadvantage got him, and I think we're next. Caution! Caution! Single file. Pit road is closed right now. Catch the pace car. You're the leader now. Pits are closed. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind the pace car. Not running me over. Yeah, I was trying. Catch stop three. Car. We need them to wear their tires. Left up three. Car by. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. That three by. Pit road is now open. Catch stop three. Why does it feel so bad? I think we Catch did okay. Car. Saving tires before, and uh, that allowed us has allowed us to hang in there a little bit, even at our disadvantage. That was some pretty tough racing up here. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got pretty chaotic. Some checkups, some door on the wall, and everything. It was uh, getting chaotic. I just need to keep as much track position as I can, so that way, whenever uh, we get oh, enough sure. of a run. And then everyone takes their final set of tires. I'm going in with them as well. Car 58 got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Closed. Pit road is closed. Kenny is back. It's closed. Is he on the lead lap again? Still winning. It's uh, one lap down now. Wonder if Nick will give it back to him. I think everybody would be okay with that. that. How many laps down did you get? Now it's two, not one. Okay, guys, if we don't have a yellow, we can keep Kenny a lap down. <laughs> I don't know about that. He still might get his lap back, but he might not win it there. So you say it is still possible. For a little speed. Thirty-six laps of fuel. It's still kind of close. Just weirding me out. <laughs> Thirty to go. Stop wrecking, Nick says. I was the first one, so. 
Guess I'd better pull my head out too. Yeah, this is pack racing with a lot of lift. That's pretty good. One to go. Next okay, time by, line up on the inside. This, this is how people who run like Gen 4 and stuff think it should be like, and it's not. Look to get a good jump here. Give a little space to the pace car. Nick, to get a good track there, just step in one of those where you have multiple careers and you gotta lift and get runs off. I don't know where my tires are right now, I really have no idea. Be interesting to see what the percentages are. I pit on lap six. So there's quite a few laps on these. Get ready, going green. Down to the right gear. Ice car is off. Be ready. Green, green, green. That's pretty slidey. I only have to wheel a little bit on these cold tires. It's only a matter of time before they get around me. Again, my job right now is I gotta just hold it together as long as I can. My inside. Car inside. Still there at the bottom. Keep high. Stay high. Stay high with the car on the low side. Still there, hold your line. Yeah. Three. The lock time was Still there, inside. Still there, hold your line. Damn, I'm over here. Bottom. Clear. D4. That was a 32.0. Run into from behind. Still there. Hold your line. Go high. There's the car on the low side. Clear. Still there at the bottom. Still there at the bottom. You're up top, three wide. Still hold. This is intense Still racing, there. man. Still there. Inside, two wide. Still there, inside. Very, Still very close. Inside. Sorry, I had to go for that run. That was You're a long time. It's all good. Car outside, clear. Let's get to our outside there, maybe? No, not quite. Get back in pit. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Go low. Got his nose on the outside there. 
Me taking three wide. Not quite. Just looking. Still there. Hold your line. Tires are definitely hurting me at this point. Oh, Kenny's gonna have to come up here and unwrap himself. P6. Car outside. These guys are playing a dangerous game. Putting their nose on my outside when I've got old tires like this. Starts pushing a little bit much for that. Outside, clear. The car inside. Next going in. Keep high. E7. Not that was that. Clear inside. Oh. The car inside. Still there, hold your line. Woo. Stay high to the car on the low side. Still there at the bottom. Still there, inside. Clear inside. P9, up that time was 32.4. Good consistency, keep you coming. We just gotta hold on to as much as we can and hope for a caution. That's all we can do right now. Again, dangerous game doing that to me. Oh, straight away. Outside, two wide. You're in the middle, three wide. Still hold. Inside, two wide. Clear. Car inside. Still inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Keep high. Okay. You're up top three wide. Oh, right how? I didn't think there was room for three, three wide. wide. All oh, right, there wasn't. Clear. Cool. Caution, yellow flag. They want you in single file. Nice cars out. Pit road is closed. My goodness. Car number zero seven. Chase car is out. And that's our race. You've got some damage. Let's get that fixed. Any very well uh, could come back and win us all. Quite prepared. Ah, eight minutes. Twenty seconds. I got money on it. Ah, four minutes. Thirty-five seconds. We can well, repair most of the damage. Catch the eighty-one car. I deserve it though, because I caused the first wreck, so. I don't know who I drove through, but I drove through someone and I got no damage. Just net code again. That sucks. Really bad. I was looking down at my gauges and stuff, and then also I'm looking up to hit him stop on the track. Nothing they could do about that. Yeah, sorry about that. I two cars and bridge on the same line and a bit of net code. Yeah, that shouldn't have happened. And then we're upside down, so we have no no option but to tow, and we were destroyed anyway, so. Alright, we'll go back and look at the rest of the incidents. Disappointing. But we were in a bad spot anyway, unless we got a yellow. Oh, that was... Wow, the neck code's really bad in this car. That shouldn't have even happened there, either. I mean, obviously I got loose, but... Wow. 95, 96. 92, 95. Yeah, obviously still my fault for getting loose in the first place, but I mean that's pretty bad in that code.
narrowly avoid getting hit there. Some blinking. More net code. Wow. They got a. I think iRacing's got some work to do with uh, either the prediction code related to this car on larger tracks or maybe it's uh, collision or something. I have no idea, but every wreck so far has been caused by that. That was almost a crash, but not quite. Spam the chat if I can't fit that message in uh, one. Don't need to be bothering them during the uh, rest of this race. More wall hits. The pace car is in. Green, green, green. Seventeen, uh, leaving, a, trying to leave a lane for the blue car up there, but twelve, not expecting it. Every, every one of these so far. That's bad. Uh oh. Something happened in here. That one may have been legitimate. Oh, just the slightest of taps. I don't know if we can see a better angle on that. Oh, that's after he got hit. Trying to see it. And even that, I mean, that was close enough, though, that that's within reason. So he just gets the quarter panel there and it sends him down the track. Seventeen getting on the brakes hard, that's probably some some of that low brake bias, like I uh, had it all the way back. He doesn't hit anything though, so I guess it was worth it. In order to avoid damage. Pull up in the wall. Three gets the wall there, and uh, 17 not able to avoid him. And they just get stuck together all the way to the grass. That might not have, uh, not have even brought out a caution. Again, wow. Uh, I, <laughs> I want to talk about it so bad, but I don't want to bother them during the race. I'm just eager to talk about it, because that really sucks, because it looks like, like the majority of these, Warren. nope, they weren't even going to hit each other. No, I didn't get a call for three wide. Is that what happened? By the way, on that restart there, I don't know who's in that blue car up there. I didn't want to go three wide there. I kind of got pushed into it. Yeah, we kind of just Good got car, no driven back. into. That curved back stretch probably caused a little confusion. And then cars come together and then we were in the wrong spot.
Oh, Zach didn't know the 456 was there. That sucks. Fourteen just barely gets to his outside, and I don't think everybody was ready for three wide there. Like, I don't even know if the 12 is getting that call. But just gets the quarter panel, and that's all it needed. And I think we're live now. Yes, we are. I've been watching these incidents and almost the majority of them have had some bad prediction code. It looks like there might be some sort of issue. I'm looking too. I can't really tell, but just otherwise, uh, with me and Tyler, it was like three wide, but not enough three wide for the spotter to call it. And me not knowing where Warren's going to turn in, it's like, I can't turn or I'm going to hook him too. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, I'll be looking at it too. It just looks like green flag, green flag. I think I might actually turn in just the spotter fit and turn you. All right, well, that's it for this race. Close, no problem. Just um, we're out of it. We got flipped fun. over. We're and uh, we're going to finish pretty much last, probably 20th here. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Up. Appreciate it, Nick. Didn't turn out too well, but uh, that'll happen. I kind of had a bad race, so I didn't deserve a good finish. Thanks for watching.